wrap things up with our latest Burned Area and Delhi News Channel 9 Student Athlete of the Week. Tonight, our Maddie Mustin introduces us to CNS senior Megan McGrath. Megan McGrath is a senior at CNS and just recently picked up a third sport. She is a member of the school's first girls wrestling team. I don't know, I love trying new things and challenging myself. And once I once I made the decision or, or even thought about it, I stuck to it, I committed to it. And I was like, well, this is what I'm gonna do. Already committed to play lacrosse in college, Megan is also a goalie for the varsity soccer team. On top of juggling those sports, school and work, Megan went all in on learning something new. Immediately I went like all over YouTube and everything to look up like videos. I didn't even know how the point system worked, so I had to figure all that out. And then getting to practice and just every chance that I could get on the mat, I always took. In the inaugural season for the team, it has been a learning curve for everyone, and Megan has guided them even while learning with them. The coaching staff was a little a little worried as, as far as having nobody with any wrestling experience coming on board this year who would take that leadership role, and Megan Megan took that and ran with it since day one. Um, she's, been the, she's been the leader of this team on and off the mat. Taking up the new sport has been challenging, but Megan has picked it up quickly and can apply what she has learned outside the circle. Resilience mostly, like, like I said, like with it being so nonstop, just never giving up, even when someone's got you in like a crazy position and you're trying to get out of it, just to fight and keep going. Congrats, Megan! You are the Burn Dairy and Deli News Channel 9 Student Athlete of the Week. She plays defense on the lacrosse field. She's committed to Youngstown State. Right. She used some of those wrestling moves. Yeah. Uh, you never know. You never know. Things get a little physical. Why not? Um,